All right, everyone, welcome back to Robo Trek. Last time we left off, we had turned into a mouse, ran around the hacker base for a little bit, and became human again. And uh, just like last episode, what I went ahead and did was I did some leveling off screen so that way we could read Inventor's Friend to level 17, which gives us Bomb 2. Not the most useful thing in the game, but eh, it's, it's, yeah, it's worth picking up, I guess. Um, I also went ahead and uh, got Sword 4 up to level 9. Basically, once you get Sword 4, you can just make a bunch of Sword 1 level 1s and combine them with Sword 4 eight times to get Sword 4 level 9. Um, it's decently strong, I mean, has 80 attack power, and, uh, the Axe 1 level 9 had, I want to say 90 attack power, so it's 10 less strong, but it does have something special, which I will show off. Um, I also went ahead, and with the Scrap 9, if you combine Scrap 9 with an Axe 1 level whatever, as long as it's an Axe 1, um, if you combine those two things, you get an Axe 3. Now, Axe 3 at level 9 has 120 attack power. It is the second strongest weapon in the game. And we're just about maybe halfway through the game, so it's kind of a game breaker. But I'm going to show off what um, Sword 4 level 4 or Sword 4 level 9 does. Um, also going to point out, I went ahead with the level up and gave Frank 10 more health. Just that way he doesn't die so quickly. But anyways, the other thing we have to do is we have to find the head soldier mouse director guy and get the... Uh, what am I doing? And get the code for the earthquake machine. And in order to do that, we have to go back, yet again, to the lunchroom. Quite a bit of back and forth in this place. Whoa, whoa, leave me alone. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I screwed up, but here's what you want to do. You want to um, get Sword 4 up to level 9. I mean, you can leave it at level 1 if you want. But then in your commands, your run commands, you want to do three slashes in a row. Because what that will do is it will hit every enemy on screen three times. Now... Sword 4 by itself, if you do just a single attack, it will, um, of course, hit all of the enemies once. But making it hit three times is so much better. And actually, hitting them once does very little damage. Which I thought was odd. Look who it is, the guy we wanted to talk to. So basically, we have to go back to the earthquake machine and push the right button three times and the left one twice. Well, sorry to say you won't be for long. So you just gave us the self-destruct sequence. I will say here and now is a bad idea. Giving a kid who hates hackers a self-destruct sequence to an entire base. Not the brightest idea. I should be tempted to call it suicide in a way. Anyways, here's the machine here. And I will say, before I push any buttons or whatever, 
If any of you are using this as a walkthrough, I don't know if anyone actually does, but if you are, make sure you've done everything you want to before you push any of these buttons, because once you've pushed the buttons, once you've entered the sequence, the entire base gets destroyed, I mean, self-destruct, but you can't come back at any point in time. So make sure you've done everything you want to. That's why I level up to 17 and got that inventor's friend. That way I could have it for completion's sake. Now let's run! Mint. You're still here. Why are you still here? Everything explode. I have never gotten lost. Well, okay, maybe I have a couple times, but still not as many. Also, this is a perfect example of why this sword is awesome. Because it murders moles. Mole murder. So yeah, basically, Sword 4 at level 9 is capable of killing pretty much anything you come up against. Which is pretty cool, if I must say so. That's not the way I want to go. And in fact, I don't remember the way I want to go. Oh, here we go. Climb up the rope. Ah! Mole, mole, mole. And it is kind of a waste to use against a single enemy. But as you can see, it still managed to kill the one enemy within the time limit, so it's not that bad. One downside to it, though, if I remember right. I'll have to test this in a moment here. Oh, actually does a okay amount of damage. But, um, if I remember right, again, like I said, I'll have to test it. You actually can't attack and pick up capsules with this weapon. Ah, and here we got a couple capsules. We can test out my theory. Yeah, see, because the lightning is striking farther away, you can't actually pick up anything. So that is one downside to using it. But it's also pretty destructive, and really you don't get anything... I mean, apart from some bonus experience sometimes, which can be nice. Trust me, it can be nice. But other than that, it's not a big deal. Because with how quickly it kills everything, you still get bonus experience no matter what, basically. So it kind of, sort of, counterbalances itself. You don't want to use the sword for... against bosses, though. I will say that. No, oh, mouse is panicked. Is a good guy. 
because he knows that the shaman is corrupt and he's not willing to work with him. Ho ho ho! Because you're a dick. Just leave. Leave us to our own devices. Also, what is over here? Oh, that's the room that they put the box in where the sacrifice was. The sacrificial box thing. Yes, I have made progress, and you're a dick. destroyed everything you've ever built, you asshole. I don't think you should be mocking me at this point. You just kicked me. What does this say? Far road is closer. <laughs> Got it clean. Ooh, new enemy. This is the poison. Poison mushroom. And it's dead. Mwahaha. <laughs> oh! And we got gel gels. I hate gel gels. They made us rusty. It's not cool. Thunder you all. Shabam. And yes, that is one thing to keep in mind, is that three slashes of sword for any weapon, essentially, takes just about half of your energy or fuel. So you want to be careful. You want to be sure that when you use it, that it's going to kill things. No. There we go. Because, yeah, if you use that and don't kill everything, then you're kind of just stuck there and can't do anything. Which is lame! Ah, and see? Like that. Wasn't enough to kill me. Also, these guys can multiply, apparently. I'm gonna take care of that, though. say, 
simple device. Don't have much energy left. I'm sure you do. Also, emblem on the floor. It means boss time. We got our axe equipped here. And he's only missing 8 HP, should be okay. Um, what did I want to do? I want to use this. It's too noisy. Oh god. What about here? It's too noisy. And here? It's too noisy. Oh, come on. There's gotta be somewhere we can use it. There we go. Just in case the boss kicks our ass. I mean, I'm hoping he doesn't. Hoping it'll be easy, but we'll find out. Actually, you know what? I'll try Sword 4. Actually, no, I won't. Because in order for it to really be effective, you have to use the three slashes, and I probably won't kill him. Stop getting in my way, then. Boss time. Here we've got Big Eye. And apparently I missed. Whoa. I'm glad we've got a shield. Kicking my butt, isn't it? That's all right. We got plenty of cures. Oh, you bugger! Quit it with your shooting me. Oh wow. Stop hitting me twice. Also, can I get behind you? I cannot. What happens if I guard here and run away? Stop running away. Him, but I don't think it's possible with the way he's been moving. Oh, come on. Why am I not hitting him at all? There we go. Oh, 
Oh wow, 70 megs. Took us up two levels. I thought it was interesting too. Most of the uh, walkthroughs that I read say that you should probably be about level 20 when you fight him. But you don't really need to be. I am, however, going to put a few more points into guard. Keep some points in charge. Actually, lower my health again. Put more points into guard. That way we are very hard to kill. So that is a good thing. Yay, good things. Anyways. Yep. Okay, if you say so. Yes, I can. He's alive! And apparently Napoleon seems to know us. Interesting. was over there. And this part actually made me kind of sad the first time I played this. Probably because the sad music starts playing. I don't want to stand back. What is stopping from doing it? You don't have to do it, robot. No, Napoleon, don't. <sighs> I mean, seriously, there's got to be a better way of doing this. This is just depressing. No! I have my drill. Let me drill it. Let me drill it. self-destructs in order to save us. That's pretty damn heroic, I gotta say. But yeah, I was not expecting that the first time I played this, and it made me very sad. I was like, oh man, this guy totally just killed himself just to save us. I was like, holy crap. Anyways. Need to stop sorting my inventory and play the game. <laughs> uh, we got some boss toads here. And more gator heads. Also, oh, what's over here? What's over here? I want to find out what the spider's in the way. Oh, wait, isn't this where we were before?
see these invisible guys. Whoa. Actually never seen these guys before. Interesting. Also I think it's weird that the leftmost side of the screen it makes it look like you can walk there, but you actually can't. I'm not sure why. And apparently I have to fight them head on. I can't... oh. I thought it'd be a lot harder than that. But still, look at that, 5.2 megs of data. It's pretty good. See if we can get one of the other variations of hidden guys. Oops, these are just maskers. They're stupid long attack animations. in health. Sounds ridiculous. Five megs of data. So if you can survive enough battles with these guys, it's actually a very good way to train. Can take off the glasses now. Where the transceiver go? Also. All pieces, all three pieces of the Tetron. Yay! Anyways. Okay. And everyone's back to normal, yay! Bye-bye. <laughs> Alright, so he said that someone at the inn saw What's-His-Face go for the ocean. Oh, we actually have to talk to him, I guess. <laughs> sleep because we can and we have the same dream that we had before ah oh, timer Thank you. 
No, I want you to tell me about the person leaving the place with the things. Oh, here he is. Burp. There we go. Ah, oh, look who it is. Hear what? I don't want to. I never liked you. Anyways, let's go ahead and head back to Rococo real quick. First, let's go ahead and go here, check up on that bird, because we can! The bird is no longer there. Anyways, we want to go back to Rococo. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and show off the new item we got. This is Change. And we can turn to a mouse at will. We can also push doorbells. Somehow. That doesn't make sense. Also, I'm looking for... Yeah, here we go. A very specific house. Because in here... We find this old lady who's son or grandson had gone to the island where the hacker base was and it seems like he never came back that's kind of it's kind of sucky anyways we want to go ahead and put change back on because in our house there's a cop what does he want Apparently, Nagisa knows who we are, and the cop is enough of a jerk that he is willing to put a mouse in jail if it's bad, which I think is silly. Anyways, let's go down here into our lab and turn back into a human. And we can now make a little robot. Cost 2,000, but it's for a good cause. Go ahead and turn back into a mouse. Because we don't want to get caught by this cop. Not yet, anyways. And yes, unfortunately, even though we have the little helper, here he is, and can run around with him, he actually doesn't do anything for us. Yep. 
we have given the old lady a helper robot. Because we're good like that. And there is some other stuff we want to do, but I'm also out of time for this episode. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go back in here. Save again. Go down here. And call it episode here. Yes, lots of interesting stuff has happened. And for some reason there's a cop in our house. But we won't find out why until next time. So we shall see you then.